Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Hi, guys. I didn't anticipate making a video so quickly again uh, as we had done this one, which just went up on EE Arts, and we feel it's a very, very important one, uh, especially listening all the way to the end as there is an important message uh, at the end of this one. Uh, and this does talk about the weather and about what's coming in, that polar vortex, uh, which is looking to be more and more significant every day that goes by. It, and we had talked about this nine days ago, something in the Earth's upper atmosphere over on Evolutionary, and how it looked like there was something that was perhaps disrupting the atmosphere and going to cause exactly what now we are going to see happen. Uh, so check that video out over on EE Arts, because again, it's all going to be revealed. It's the apocalypse after all. And, and the realization that the weather can be controlled. Uh, speaking of weather, you know, be careful out there. <laughs> I saw this all the time living up in Connecticut and New England. Uh, you know, this, this was a common occurrence. And it's, it's going to be pretty wicked out there. This winter, for many people, might have started off really, really mild. Well, that's going to change. It is absolutely going to change. Uh, so be careful, and depending where you're at, you're going to be getting uh, all sorts of different possibilities. You know, last yesterday and, and last night, it was really, really weird because, you know, we were cold, and all of a sudden, okay, it got warm out. And it was because of, you know, where the wind was blowing from, and all of a sudden, we were getting this southerly wind out of the due south, and it was, it felt relatively balmy. Now it's going to be getting, as you see this right here, it, it's going to be getting really, really cold. Some parts of uh, Oklahoma and Texas up close to the Oklahoma panhandle, um, you know, you, you may be seeing near zero, uh, which is, it, as again, could be very, very deadly. Uh, as I was looking at our forecast, and boy, it changed. I mean, we were going from, okay, well, it's going to dip into the 20s overnight to it's going to dip into the teens to it's going to be around 6 degrees overnight. Okay, you know, in our area, again, uh, that is really unusual. And again, houses are not really made for that type of weather. So, you know, depending on where you're at, you're going to have different challenges. There's going to be a snowmaker uh, that's going to be occurring and, and is, has been occurring. Our, our lovely Mary D. up in Wisconsin uh, saying it's, it's a winter wonderland. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. And so northeast snow and then another system coming in, which may be bringing rain. And then, of course, you could have flooding because of the snow before and icing, uh, it's just a mess. It is gonna be a huge mess, and, and we kinda saw this when we did see that thing in the upper atmosphere. It definitely looked like it had a job to do. I mean, it just wasn't something that was there willy-nilly out of the blue to, to um, you know, not cause trouble. We felt the trouble, you know, nine days ago, and we didn't know how bad it was going to look, but it's showing itself to be kind of extremely disruptive. And that was the energy that was overarching, that was coming in, that was so strong that I, that's the only word I could I could come up with is, is this thing, whatever it is, it's created and it's going to be very disruptive. So here we are. People just need to have backups to their backups. Um, you know, ha have those little warm packs that you can put your hands, those little warm mittens in case you lose power. Uh, go around, make sure you have candles, but be very careful with fires. You know, have have a separate way to heat things. You know, some people have gas, so they're able to at least heat water or, or have fire, you know, in the house, use their stove for heat. Um, maybe you have a wood stove. You probably want to get stocked up on more wood just in case. So, yeah, it looks like we're um, in for something very disruptive. And again, it depends on where you are. If you are in Mariana, Florida, as you can see, this is a, a little, little city of Southern Charm, 6,000 people, um, basically along I-10 over here. They got hammered uh, with tornadoes and so first look at tornado damage in mariana florida early tuesday morning 
um, as you can see, these these trailers look completely wiped out. You know, we we have been in a little 19 footer um, and watched tornadoes uh, a tornado form directly over our head, which ended up uh, landing down about a mile down the road from us. It can be terrifying if you are in something that's not solidly constructed. And even if you are in something that's solidly constructed, I mean, we've seen well-built houses wiped out by tornadoes, nothing left. The Gulf Coast uh, is going to continue to see uh, tornado threats. This is, again, another area in, in Mariana, Florida. And here you have a tornado. This is the lower Grand Lagoon in Florida. So, yeah, absolutely severe storms. Uh, Ryan Hall was on doing updates. His channel is great as far as weather. He's one of the go-to people that will watch. You know, this is Jim Cantori saying, and again, Jim Cantori has been around forever. And the Weather Channel is, again, a uh, red shield operation, if you know what I'm talking about. But he says, didn't see the tornado threat coming this far north. Uh, when you see guys that have been meteorologists for like 30 plus years, yeah, 37 years, didn't see this happening. Well, that's because the weather is not always natural. Hello. I mean, I know you can't say that because you ultimately work for the Red Shields, but that is the reality. So all the way up to Atlanta, be aware of this tornado threat. This was a uh, EF0 tornado that touched down in Fort Lauderdale over the weekend, right in Fort Lauderdale. Um, yeah, we, we, we are seeing a lot of craziness. That is going to escalate. That's absolutely going to uh, escalate in this time frame. As you know, we, we are going to an all new level in 2024. So again, it's time to double check your preparedness. The Mexican president demands $20 billion in work permits for 10 million Hispanics in exchange for help on slowing the border flow. Hmm, okay. You know, again, we understand there is a much, much bigger picture going on. And, and we've uh, focused on that much bigger picture uh, often on both evolutionary and EE arts and, and perhaps sometimes in focusing on the real big picture, there's a lot of people that just can't handle how big that picture is. And so you, you end up kind of losing them like, well, I, I just can't, you know, some, some won't, won't accept even that the weather is manipulated, but it's getting pretty obvious guys. Now, this feels really dark. Uh, I'll just I'll, I'll say that. And then uh, Cindy chimed in with something that was uh, very curious, but I wasn't shocked. Chaos breaks out in New York City after underground tunnels were discovered under the Chabad Lubavitch World Headquarters in Brooklyn. The incident below reportedly took place to prevent a cement truck from filling the tunnels. According to Crown Heights Info, the tunnels were made in the past six months in an effort to expand 770. Other reports suggest uh, tunnels were dug by yeshiva men during COVID after they were after they were locked out of 770. The tunnel reportedly stretched from the mikveh building to the woman's portion of 770. The tunnel was discovered after someone started hearing people in his home. About 10 arrests were made after some refused to leave the tunnels. Um, yeah, this is really weird. And, and, you know, New York City is built on top of, uh, and, and so many of the cities um, all over our world. I mean, gosh, Paris, man. You, you go down into these tunnels and you'll find more tunnels and cities are built on top of cities and, and that gets us talking about mud floods and past cataclysms and other things going on but this this what what cindy felt here is 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 very very dark and in fact it's extremely reptilian these guys they they deal directly with reptilians they take information from them and they they do as they're told and they're very powerful strong in their belief because when you see something like that and you deal directly with it it's going to change you so these people are very very different because of the uh what they have been through and what they have experienced and anyone would be if if in your waking hours your conscious hours you actually 
saw one of these things in the 3D and you touched its skin, it is going to change you. And this is what I picked up with these folks is that they are actually dealing with them. Uh, they're giving, telling them what to do. It's just, to me, it's not a safe situation. Yeah, you know, it's really, I remember, and you guys, some of you guys might remember, if, if you're old like me, uh, again, Rabbi Schneerson, Schneer, Schneerson, yeah, that's how you would say it. Uh, that was a, a name that, you know, it, it sticks in my head more than it should, or maybe not. I don't know why. This is him. Or Orthodox Rabbi, Sixth Rebbe, spiritual leader of the Shabbat Lubavitch Hasidic movement, also known as Friedeker Rebbe. Yeah, alive from the Soviet Union, forced to leave, continue to struggle in Latvia. You know, again, the way this world is set up, it, it makes it so there's certain areas that you don't dare go down and look deep into. Um, because of this, you can be called uh, a particular term, and yet there is darkness there. There's there's an awful lot of darkness there, and yeah, he was imprisoned. He, yeah, he he was a big one, and I'm I'm trying to remember all about him because there's something messianic uh, in this whole thing. I, yeah, I remember my mother talking about this a lot because there were certain things she paid attention to. So maybe we'll bring it up in pre in uh, other videos to come. But I didn't expect Cindy to necessarily come straight out and say they're literally meeting with reptilians. But think about it. They're in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. And I go back to the video that we did this one and because you might not think by the by the title we only get a hundred uh letters to use in a title so you can only be so descriptive and i think i used a hundred exactly there but we do talk about inner earth and in this video we talk about admiral bird and and we talk about other things in this video as i love to go off in tangents i always love to try to expose the bigger picture and th this is the face of evil in my opinion i look at this face and and i, I you know I, it might as well have horns it might as well be you know it might as well look like um the typical depiction of satan because that is the energy mm -hmm. it is it, it is and it, it's very disturbing so uh I, I don't know. You know, this is just just a huge mess. There's really nothing that's um, that's good about it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's just like these people get to do what they want, and they, uh, you know, they have a license to like literally demolish and uh, hurt whoever. It's just so sad. Yeah, so Netanyahu is demanding lie detector tests for cabinet ministers because there's been leaks coming from his cabinet. And when Cindy looks at him, she literally usually sees three Draco that surround him. And again, Cindy is uh, a, a, a very gifted psychic that can see people uh, that have passed on. And I have yet to, to find an occurrence when you know an average person has passed on and we haven't been able to, to see where they are, uh, how they're doing, you know, what they're experiencing on the other side. These are things that pretty much everybody can do when we're outside of a dark age. And it's only because we're in the dark age that we, we, we don't have these abilities, but we are developing these abilities. We are developing them. So when when I say that there's darkness, it's his energy. It's it's so dark. It it's not uh, has nothing to do with any belief system that he says he has. Because again, uh, these these politicians can profess a belief system, and they will. And even people like the Pope will profess a belief system that they do not believe in, ultimately, because they understand it's just a tool. Meanwhile, you have a car crashing into the White House gate, driver arrested, Secret Service are investigating. But wait, no, it was just Nancy on a bender again. Uh-oh, first image of driver emerging from wreck appears to be hammered. Uh, well, 
we're kidding about that Nancy on a bender thing, but yeah, somebody did. And meanwhile, here you have the sickle maker. That's literally one translation of his name, F-A-U-C-I, the sickle maker. And, you know, trace, trace the family lineage, trace the energy, trace what he was doing in the 70s and 80s. Um, you know, he's surrounded here, surrounded by, by protection. Uh, again, if you guys have been following us a long time, Cindy said, well, come 2025, none of these people will dare show themselves in public because, you know, the public w will be beyond uh, control at that point in time with the realization of all that has gone on. And they will just basically send out messages from secure areas, perhaps not even disclosing where they are. Because, again, you know, it, it's going to be exposed to that level. This is where we're at. 2024 is, is the biggest year in our history, really, uh, in modern times for exposing everything that's going on. And here we have a little ballerina. Mm -hmm. And he's just being very cute and showing off his feathers and showing off his stuff. You know, when I when I look at, at Fauci just popping back there for a moment, you know, some people might say, oh, well, he's going to be arrested. And no, he's not. Uh, th nothing is going to happen. A and even if it does, it's just a show. It's a show. It's the illusion that we are able to see through. This is what is going to make it so difficult for these people to show themselves in public because it's a it's a plan that's very it's well laid it, it's well laid out um you know it's going off without a hitch and everybody they have everyone jumping up and down screaming and yelling saying well we need this person out of power and this person in power it's not going to make a bit of difference even if even if he does disappear it's going to roll forward the the laws that they put in place are going to go forward yeah, because the real power is like the beings that they're meeting down in the tunnels there in New York City. That's the real power. All these just take their orders. And, you know, Hitler, he didn't commit suicide. He, he escaped to Argentina and and was down in New Schwabenland and, in fact, uh, traveled around for, for many, many years. And this is, again, uh, part of the thing that people can't really handle. How many how many 46 clones and body doubles are there? How do you know if 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 they take one 46, uh, you know, clone body double, however you want to look at it, and put them on trial, and and you you could even monitor them 24/7, 365 from uh, some sort of cam. It doesn't mean anything because you don't know. I mean, it could be an actor that comes in in and, and a mask and then they switch them out for another one. Oh, it's time for my hour shift. Yeah, but the public feels they're getting justice. Yeah, they're not. Because again, this has all been an illusion. You know, how many times do, does anything actually change? I, do, do they ever roll any of the laws back? Do they ever roll any of the taxes back? No matter who is in charge, is does anything ever change? And that's what you have to ask yourself. You have to go by their actions, definitely not their words. And you always tell, you can always tell when a politician or someone like this guy is lying when their lips are moving. Yeah, this again, the system is not broke. It's doing what it's supposed to do because this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep the public basically um, believing that the public has some semblance of, of authority and say in this. Only when the entirety of the system is removed and something brand new is created outside of the system, outside of uh, a monetary system that will lead to uh, greed uh, on the scale that we see now where you can and will be able to find people that will you know turn their backs on the rest of humanity uh, at the drop of a hat in order to better themselves and their loved ones well you know if, if you had a system in place that was say barter and trade oriented uh, somewhere where it couldn't be parasitic in nature and the, the whole banking system is parasitic it's all parasitic. Think about you know insurance and, and all this. It, it's all parasitic. If we eliminated all that and you just simply were exchanging something of, of even value with others, uh, 
Uh, and there was no way for anybody to control that monetary system. You know, again, we have to think beyond all the all the tools of control that they have in place, uh, because this is this is how that tiny little percentage controls all the masses of humanity that are here. But that you know, whose numbers are starting to dwindle in comparison to you know where we were at our peak as we start to realize uh, what has transpired. So I look forward to your guys' comments as always. Uh, let's take this darkness away for a second and look at the ballerina as we wish you guys uh, a wonderful, magnificent day and stay prepared. Keep putting out the positive frequencies. Make sure you have a spiritual practice to root and ground you, a mind, body, breath practice. Much love. Source bless. Namaste. Namaste.